Taking the mantra of, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, to an extreme, the MG3 machine gun has remained almost technologically unchanged going back to its inception during World War II. The formidable weapon was used to strike fear in Allied soldiers for its outstanding performance, accuracy, and rate of fire in its original MG42 iteration now continues to strengthen NATO forces as the implacable MG3. With over 60 years at the forefront of machine gun performance, the astonishing feat of German engineering promises to continue to serve as an essential asset for the German military and its allies worldwide. Notably, the historic and time-proof weapon that would arm the world for over six decades was designed by a man who had never made a gun in his life. Zero Experience The basic design of the MG3 machine gun dates to the onset of World War II. As Adolf Hitler prepared for the global conflict he was about to trigger, the Wehrmacht was eager to develop a replacement for its robust but aging MG34 machine gun. The Germans were the undisputed designers of machine gun technology, and they had proved how lethal the weapons could be during World War I when they were used proficiently to hold the Allies back and lock them in lengthy and excruciating trench warfare. However, the MG34 had some crucial drawbacks that Germany needed to correct. The machine gun was peculiarly sensitive to extreme weather conditions, dirt, and mud, and its manufacturing process was complex and expensive. Three companies were requisitioned in February of 1937 to present designs for a new generation of machine guns. Grossfuss AG of Döbeln, Rheinmetall Borzig AG of Samerda, and Stubgen AG of Erfurt. Grossfuss AG's design quickly stood out, employing a unique recoil-operated roller locking mechanism instead of the gas-actuated systems used by its two competitors. Astonishingly, the company had no earlier experience in weapons manufacture, mainly producing sheet metal lanterns before venturing to design a machine gun. Dr. Werner Gruner, one of its leading design engineers, had never worked with war weapons before he was assigned to the project. However, he was a resourceful man and an authority in mass production technologies. Eager to learn what he was getting into, Gruner joined a machine gunner's course to familiarize himself with the functionality and characteristics of said weapons. He also interviewed dozens of machine gun crews to learn about the needs and ideas that the end users had. Gruner implemented all this knowledge into a mass production system developed by the Mauser Rifle Company. The man who had never built a gun before was now ready to mass produce the most powerful machine gun in World War II. Improved Design The novel weapon was made of pressed and stamped carbon steel metal, with only the most essential parts milled from solid steel. The design also called for spot welding and riveting to connect components, decreasing the need for machining and high-grade steel alloys. As such, the manufacturing process used less strategic resources than its predecessor, and was cheaper to produce. Gruner soon discovered that less is more after developing reliable and cheap machine guns and reduced the time needed to complete the MG42 to 75 man-hours, as opposed to the 150 man-hours required for the MG34. The new machine gun also required only 27.5 kilograms of raw materials instead of the 49 kilograms of the MG34, and the cost was reduced from 327 Reichsmarks to 250. The new design was purposely kept as similar as possible to the MG34 to maintain familiarity and compatibility with the various mounts and other accessories developed for the MG34 and its different combat roles, and initial trials immediately showed that the new weapon was at least as efficient as the old MG34 machine gun. Hitler's Buzzsaw Some very significant changes made the new design superior. The saddle drum magazine feed option was dropped, 
leaving the gun to fire belted ammunition, or from a 50-round drum-shaped Gertrumel belt container mounted in the gun's receiver. Also, the weapon's open sights were simplified to improve aiming. All these adjustments were intended to increase, maintain, or accommodate the gun's high rate of fire. Despite the simple and cheap materials used for the MG-42, the machine gun turned out to be sturdier and more resistant to jamming than the MG-34, making it much more friendly to dust, dirt, and unfavorable battlefield weather. The MG-42 was massively deployed in 1942 and instantly became a hit, becoming much feared by the Allies. The Soviets even nicknamed it the Linoleum Ripper, and British and US troops called it Hitler's Buzzsaw, or Hitler's Zipper. As it reached German soldiers' hands, the MG-42 was the most advanced machine gun in the world, with almost twice the rate of fire of the Vickers and Browning machine guns. Cold War Resurgence As tensions between the West and the Soviet Union rose after the war, West Germany was again allowed to rearm after years of prohibition. The West German forces knew that the MG-42 was an excellent and reliable weapon, and asked the US for permission to use it as their new machine gun. The US authorities responded that any machine gun they used would have to adhere to NATO ammunition standards. West Germany was left with two options, developing a machine gun from scratch or modifying the MG-42 and transforming it into a NATO-compliant weapon. The decision was easy, and the new modified machine gun would be known as the MG-1. Rheinmetall, the German company in charge of making the modifications, made several versions of the new machine gun rechambered to take 7.62 by 51 mm NATO ammunition. The MG-1, MG-1A1, MG-1A2, MG-1A3, and MG-2 all had the same core design as the MG-42. Still, they included minor adjustments to make them more proficient in the post-World War II NATO scenario. Still, the most polished version was achieved in 1968, and it would be known as the MG-3. MG-3 Compared to the previous post-World War II MG machine guns, the MG-3 featured an improved ammunition feeding mechanism with a belt retaining pawl to hold the bell up to the gun when the top cover plate is lifted. It was also equipped with anti-aircraft sight and a new ammunition box that improved the performance of an already remarkable gun. The MG-3 had evolved significantly from its predecessor, and its many future variants further refined its performance for specific roles. Still, at its core, the MG-3 retains the backbone of the MG-42, and most of its parts are freely interchangeable. During the late 1960s and early 1970s, the MG-3 demonstrated to be an exceptional machine gun, and it was evaluated separately by numerous NATO nations producing great reviews. Today, the weapon is used by 48 countries worldwide, including Germany, Canada, Australia, Italy, Spain, and Sweden. The MG-3's 60-year design continues to provide a tremendous fire rate that can perform brilliantly even in the 21st century. It is so impressive that machine gun crews must undergo a special training to avoid sustained fire at all costs. When fired in its bipod-mounted light machine gun roll, the MG-3 operators are trained to fire brief bursts of three to five rounds and attempt to optimize their aim between shots. Meanwhile, MG-3 operators strive to fire bursts of 20 to 30 rounds when in its tripod-mounted medium machine gun roll. After approximately 150 rounds of rapid fire, the MG-3 crew will replace the hot barrel with a new cool one. If this procedure is not followed, the barrel becomes unusable. In addition, the crew members in charge of barrel replacement are equipped with protective asbestos gloves to prevent burn injuries to their hands. Military analysts still rate the MG-3 among the top three machine guns in the world, along with the Soviet PKM and the Belgian M240 machine guns. Impressively, the MG-3's original design is 20 years older than the PKM, and almost 40 years older than the M240, and there are no signs of abandoning it anytime soon.
thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed this story, don't hesitate to click on the screen and check out our other Dark Documentaries channels, where we explore the most unique weapons and the brave men who changed the world by wielding them. Stay tuned.